It's our last story of the day, so... This is it! Now, one woman has shocked the world by coming back to life. Hey. <laughs> Moments yeah. before her own funeral. Okay. Now, Bella Montoya was declared dead after suffering a cardiorespiratory arrest at a hospital in Ecuador, and she was immediately placed in a coffin and sent to a funeral home where her funeral would be held later that night, which is pretty customary in some countries, right? Well, Bella spent four hours in the coffin until her family started to hear movement coming from inside the coffin. Mm. Now, they opened the coffin and found Bella not only breathing, but she was also moving around. Jesus. Then they realized Bella was obviously still very much alive, so she was sent back to the hospital, where she's now recovering. I think when you're a certain level of old, like some people are like, yep, she did. You know what I'm saying? And just go with the rest of the process. Oh, no. Just imagine like how many people were probably buried in America that were still alive oh. because we do all the extra things that we do, like Embalming people. Like that the means fact she ain't had no family. They went to gave us some ginger ale or something, and it just finally kicked in, honey, because you know black people think ginger ale kills everything, honey. Is that, Why know. do we think that? I Where did know. that come from? Is that I real? Don't know. It does taste like Is medicine. It really it tastes like yeah. medicine at that. Uh. <laughs> they say maybe this girl heard her man was about to go through her phone. <laughs> <laughs> so she woke up. She woke up. <laughs> oh, that's one way. <laughs> Hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.